gonna be us. Oh, that's nice. Us. We're alive. We're alive. <laughs> it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> it's alive. And hello, everybody. Hello. I'm Uga Kuga, the amputator, wishing you a big uruk hi today <laughs> as we are cooking with the Slaughter Tribe. And our very special guest is Tracy Carruthers. Hello, my name is, hi, my name is Tracy Carruthers. I am a producer here at Monolith. I work with the audio team. Uh, big shout out to them, by the way, for getting us set up with like a decent microphone and helping us make sure that our audio sounds you know, remotely palatable to your beautiful ears. Because palate is what it's all about today, friends. Bingo bongo. So Tracy, what are we making? We are going to make a British delicacy known as black pudding, or you might also have seen it referred to as blood sausage. Yeah, you had me at blood. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. I knew I would. Yeah, I'm I very, very excited about that, because black pudding sounds like maybe it's being made with Uruk blood, which That's I don't true. try to eat as a primary thing, but... Yeah, you know, some works are into that. Yeah, well, yeah, no, believe me, I've served it up on occasion. When you're out at the cook fire, you gotta do what you gotta do. But, all right, so what is the first thing? Let's so get the, right into the it. The first thing that we are doing with blood sausage, and really with any kind of sausage, is that we are preparing the aromatics. And mm. aromatics are things like thyme. I know it's green and you're not really into green food, but you know, once once it's sort of in with all of the meat and the blood, right. it, really, it really brings a little, a little life to it. Okay. So what I'm gonna ask you to start doing is stripping the leaves off of this thyme. Oh, I can, can I use this? You might have a little trouble. Okay. I would recommend using your fingertips. It's kind of my you thing. Do. All right. When you want to just strip the leaves off, you start at the base okay. of the stock here, and you just whoop, start you just stripping pull away. Off like that, and you see how the leaves just kind of come off, but they leave the stock. And so just get as much of that done as you can. I'm going to start doing that right now. Yeah. I just use my little handy foot yeah. there. I'm always willing Ooh. to lend a hand. Oh, I got it. Because <laughs> I'm the amputator it. as well. He's the amputator. All right. I'm going to be over here chopping an onion. Chop. Ah, oh, chopping an it's, onion. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't really like to chop vegetables. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. There's I not a lot of screaming involved. No. And I'm I much mean, more. I'll cry. I promise you that when I chop this onion, I'll cry. That's the other reason I don't like to chop onions, because when I chop things, I want them to be crying. Yeah, I know. Mm. It's sort of the reverse of how it's supposed to work. It really is. It uh, disrupts the order yeah. of things. But would you like to know how you can minimize the amount of crying that happens when you chop an onion? Yeah, always. So chop it. So you take the end off the, the top end without the roots. Mm. You put it that end down. Then make sure you're cutting, as you cut vertically down, mm -hmm. halfway through the little knob of roots there. Right. Because as long as the onion, ah, the onion is, me. Sorry, yes, I have to. <laughs> is staying attached to the roots like this, uh -huh. it's not going to put out as much of the, 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 the sulfur, the sulfuric acid. The tear that juice. That causes you to cry. Yep. So once you do that, uh, then you can, you'll have an easier time peeling off some of this onion onion skin as it stuff goes too when you do that onions are complex they are they've got layers they've got layers they really do have layers to them don't we all tracy is what do you do here when you're not uh making my favorite blood sausage when i'm not making blood sausage well i mentioned i'm a producer yes so i do a lot of scheduling and sort of doling out of tasks and going to various other departments that might need things from the audio team and ah. saying hey what do you need and nice. they say oh well we need sound effects for orcs crying because they're chopping onions <laughs> and then i bring that need back to the audio team and they all get some orcs in the booth to chop onions and record them crying. It's it's, That's know, it's good. pretty Although, straightforward. I gotta tell you, I don't think orcs cry. Do you but, think? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Maybe some do. Yeah, it's We're possible. more into neck snapping and blood guzzling and things of that nature. That's true. Amputating, I know that's your thing. Now, what? What? Once this is done, the people have their uh, blood sausage uh -huh. at home. How do they? How do they store it? How do they just hang it off of a hook? Uh, I wouldn't do that. I mean, unless you're keeping it refrigerated. I don't think mm. I keep this. Uh, I don't think I keep this for more than a week or so in your fridge. Mm, uh, I would fridge. definitely keep it refrigerated. Um, so more of a surrogast yeah, staple, I would yeah, assume. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, you'll know that it is from from uh, England, where the temperature tends to be pretty pretty chilly. I knew uh, a guy from England once. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, Tolkien something. Oh yeah, that yeah. sounds that sounds familiar. James, James, Josh, something like Ra that. Ra 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 I don't know. For yeah. a tar, he was okay, but I don't think anything ever became of him. No, yeah, I don't know. I haven't. I don't really like. I feel like I know the name, but like, yeah, who knows? Yeah. Anyway, so I've got this onion chopped up, and I'm gonna put that in a bowl. 
Mm -hmm. uh, good, so far so good. The next thing that I want to do here is I'm going to start toasting our spices. And these are another kind of aromatic. All of these things have all these oils. They're volatile oils is what we call them in uh, culinary science. Mm -hmm. And those are things that, you know, when they're exposed to air, when they're exposed to water, you get all of these interesting flavors coming out. So I'm just going to So I'm these. used to things just smelling terrible. Yeah. Because that's kind of, again, that's how I know, like, boys, looks like viscera's back on the menu. But this is, this is, you're going out of this your is way a little, here. You know, it's a little bit special. There's, like, there's things that, you know, we're going to add all this stuff to the meat and the blood, and it's actually going to taste Wait, what? Really you're going to add that to the blood? Yeah. Oh, why are you going to spoil perfectly oh, good blood? Listen, it's going to be so good when it's done. It's going to be even better. Uh, all right, so, I'm going to take your word for yeah. it. So we just toast these in a super, super hot pan for like a minute to two minutes. You don't wanna you don't wanna burn them. And if you are doing this at home and you're using a powdered spice, you'll notice that these are all uh, whole spices. I don't know how much you can see, but uh, these are all whole spices, whole peppercorn, whole cloves. Mm. Um, make sure that you don't toast powdered spices because those can burn really easily and it's possible that they will just ignite also and we really don't want that. No. So if you're doing this at home and you're using milled powdered spices, uh, just save them for a step that we will get to in the future when we're starting to mix everything together. The last thing you want to do is be sitting around the fire pit and have it suddenly explode on you. Exactly. Which I have to say, happens more often than you'd think. I know, those pesky rangers, I huh? can't... I, is that what it is? I'm always Did like, you not know? No! Oh my like, God. Watch out for the fire oh pit, boys! God. It could go at any time. He does that, though. He does. He and does. And the grog barrels. Makes, <laughs> grog barrels! He the does worst. the grog barrels, too! The worst cut of all. Oh. You're gathering around the grog barrel for a little gossip, and next thing you know, yeah, I know. Yeah. everything just yep, yep. bail fire. Yep. All right, I continue to uh, denude this. Uh, you call it a plant? It is, is a that? plant. All right. It is a plant called thyme. Not like, that's not right. like once upon a time, right. but like T H Y M E. I know that's a lot of letters. It, it is a lot of letters. Too many letters. Too many. If I'm yeah. being perfectly honest. I mean. The last large plant I saw was walking upright. Ooh, that yeah, sounds and, dangerous. And yeah. I don't think I want to eat a plant that walks. No. No. Carnin was uh, not something you make a salad out of. Nope. Anyway, we've got onion all, all chopped right. up and put away. My spices are toasted. I'm also going to cut up some of one of these apples. And you might go, apple? Yeah. What is an apple doing in a sausage? <laughs> well, is this an is another aromatic. And it's going to impart sort of a nice fruity, tangy flavor, and the acidity in the apple flavor, that's that, that sour, tangy, crisp yeah. taste, yeah. Is, is just the acid. It's just the acid that's naturally in the fruit. Um, and that cuts some of the greasiness of the meat, so you don't feel like you're just eating all of this heavy, gross, slimy stuff. You get, you know, you, you get I, sort of a more pleasant mouthfeel from that, from that tanginess. I fail to see the problem. But uh, I guess, yeah, Tarks have a gentler uh, palate than uh, some of us do. You know when you said you were going to make blood sausage? Uh-huh. I thought you were going to do it like I've done in the past. which How is you, you just make take blood sausage? A, well, uh, a dwarven intestine. Oh. And then you just pour blood into it. Oh, well, no, it's a, little, it's a little bit different. I mean, there's a little more to it than that. We're using hog intestines and not dwarf intestines. Mm. So, you know, I really should have peeled this apple before I started cutting it. Mm-hmm. You mm -hmm. distracted me. Good, 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 good. Got more knives. Oh, need, perfect. Uh, yeah. yeah. In fact, I got to be honest with you. <laughs> I got nothing but knives. <laughs> nothing nothing yeah. but knives. So, well, and some cleavers. <laughs> so there's that too. Cleavers are a kind of knife. Now I say, oh, and also for uh, those of you out there uh, watching and on chat, while we are preparing this food, I might not have a lot of time to uh, chat back with you, but I will keep an eye on it. I see we got some people right along here. Hello, Spectra. Hello. Uh oh, who else is with us today? Champ is with us. That's great. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. And now also, if you want to make this blood sausage for yourself, you the do. Official, yeah, you do. You do. The official Slaughter Tribe endorsed blood sausage. We're going to post that recipe on our Discord after this is all done and said. Yes. And the link to our Discord is just down below, I hear. Yes, indeed. Right down there. Or is it right down there? In any case. 
it's right around there. Now, how many more, uh, how much more of this, like all of it? I think that's probably good. Because uh, I've never done this delicate work before yeah, cooking. Yeah, no, that should be plenty. I usually that just sauce some stuff now. off. Yeah. Throw it in a pot. It's, just, it's fine, you know, whatever you want to do. In a pinch, I might even just take a bite. Yep. So let's see, now I'm adding some butter. You always want plenty of butter. No, I, that I agree with. Yeah. Oh yeah, so just some butter to this pan, which we're gonna, we're gonna heat back up. It uh, is very aromatic, by the way. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. No, time is wonderful. Mm -hmm. It is wonderful. Time is on my side. I don't like it. There's, there's like no the end. <laughs> there's just like no end to good time uh, rips. There we are. It's the time of the season. Actually, I could have done that. I could have finished it and said, I'm running out of time. <gasps> oh, you could have. And I, I would have said, there's a whole bunch more in the fridge that I brought. <laughs> and, but no, that's okay. We, we're fine. We goofed it. So anyway, heating up yeah. uh, the butter in All this right. nice hot pan. We're going to throw the onions in it. I'm also going to throw the apples in a minute later. Uh, we're just going to cook all this stuff until it's nice and translucent. We're going to sweat it, which means we're cooking it over heat until we're starting to get the liquid to all come out of it. And what's happening sort of on a, on a, on a biochemical level at that, at that stage is that the cell walls that are in plants, remember that if you remember from high school biology that mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. plants, plant cells have cell walls and person cells or animal cells only have cell membranes. And so that's why plant, plant matter tends to have this much stronger, firmer structure is because on a cellular level, they're constructed very differently. And what we're doing with the heat mm -hmm. when you cook any kind of plant matter is you're breaking down those cell walls. Yes. And that's advantageous nutritionally because it means your body is able to better access the nutrients. But this is more of that science. It is science. Yeah. I've always been more of a sorcery kind of a Uric, yeah, but I, mean, I suppose it's got its uses. Mm -hmm. All right, I am thoroughly, it's too late to say run out of time. Uh, okay, you, you, can, you can never you go can, back. You yeah, can never go back. You cannot go back in time. Oh, you, never, you never can. All right, I feel like I have denuded all of the time I possibly can. Well done. Well done. Hang For those on of to you that. who can see, I'm going to yep. put that right there. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. We've got plenty of time. Yeah, uh, wow, yeah, that's really good. Thank you. So let's see what's going on over here. Let's just find out if we've got, uh, how, how are we doing out there, everybody? Everybody can hear us okay? Yeah, if you can't hear what we're saying, please tell us. Please let us know, <laughs> because in fairness, this is the first stream we've ever done from the studio from kitchen, the kitchen before. Hopefully one of many. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at you chop the food. Yep. Chop, That's chop, very chop. good. And the butter goes because, the butter of course. smells so good. I love butter. Yeah, butter actually makes everything better. It does. I would even, I would even agree to that. Mm -hmm. So now, you worked audio. Mm -hmm. Shadow of War, did you do audio? Uh, not in a production capacity, actually. I did. Uh, I started off doing a QA which is quality assurance, basically making, every, making sure that everything works right once uh, other developers have made it. Mm -hmm. um, I started doing that specifically with the dialogue for the orcs. So oh. uh, you can pass me that rubber spatula. Of course. Hold on. The one that's in the bowl. Here's no, this oh, room. that's, uh, no, 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 not no. that one. Ah, there we go. That's there we right. go. There you go. Thank All you. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was uh, making sure that whenever an orc said something to you when you encountered when mm -hmm. you encountered the Orkian game, right. the, the, he was saying something that was appropriate to your your past relationship. So if this was an Orc that had killed you before, yeah. I was the one who was responsible for checking that the Orc would actually say, Ha ha, I killed you before, man flesh! I probably said some you of your lines! You did, yeah, I'm sure you did. Well, I've got to hand it to you, Tracy. Hey. Yeah. No, but seriously, that's really cool. I have had uh, many uh, bespoke lines that I can now say. It's true. Probably in some part crafted by you. I mean, crafted is a stretch, <laughs> but verified, yes. Verified, <laughs> very good. That's good. Also, if anybody out there has any questions whatsoever about making blood sausage, or even maybe uh, what Tracy did on the game prior, uh -huh. yeah, fire them at us yeah. while we continue to uh, make our delicious blood sausage. Yes. So that sautés. This is, yep, it's sweating. It's not, we're not really up to temperature yet, but, um, but you know, we're, we're working on it. It'll be fine. 
you know, a funny story. When we were first thinking about doing these, let's call them experimental uh, <laughs> streams, uh, our, our studio head said, you can do it just as long as you don't burn down the studio, right? Uh -huh. Do whatever you want, just as long as you don't burn down the studio. Uh -huh. And I thought, hold my beer. So we'll see. I thought, right. no promises. <laughs> right? No promises, no <laughs> guarantees whatsoever. But actually, the hot plate seems like a fairly safe yeah this is a pretty good option like it's going it's a little bit slow but i mean it's induction so that mm. you know it's only going to be effectively transferring heat through something that is magnetic mm -hmm. i think i think is the trick so like an aluminum pan for example which this is actually won't work just straight on it but underneath it's got this uh, stainless steel disc which is getting hot uh and it's transferring that heat into here and so i think that's why it's going a little bit uh, a little bit slower and a little bit of a lower heat that I would really like. Yeah, uh, what but it's would gonna you be okay. For? What would be the optimal cooking? I mean, looking at looking at, at this and comparing to my stove, I would call this like a low. Oh, that's and, a low heat. Yeah, and I and I would and if I were sweating onions at home, <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism. Uh, if I were sweating onions at home, I would I would definitely want medium or medium high even. Mm. Uh, you can see that we're starting to get some translucency and we're starting to get some of the some of the liquid cooking out, but it's it's taking its sweet time. It's taking its sweet time. The only thing that we don't actually have for you today, fine friends, is an overhead cam. So that you that actually would be see sweet. Well that's that'll be that'll be up next yep. is what we'll do. We'll actually yeah. a bird's eye view. Yeah. We we'll even be thinking, what else could we cook with yeah, the slaughter really. tribe? Because I feel like it's gotta stay in the ballpark of bloody Blood. or or meaty, mm -hmm. maybe well, we're doing steak tartar, tark tartar, tark tartar. I know where you can get some. Do you? Yeah, I do. Oh. Like, and actually, we bring like it in. Real you know, tark? Oh yeah, real oh, tark. Oh, wow. Live or best. Free oh, range yeah. tark is the way you go. You just gotta run them down. Pasture raised. Throw a couple cleavers at them. Aim for the legs. Next thing you know, and frankly, like the live food, it wriggles around. It stays really well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just cut off what you need. It's a little amputator cooking lesson for you there, Beth. That's there. real clever. Right? Yeah. That's the thing. It doesn't spoil if it's still alive. That's a really good point. Although I have to say, keeping them alive can be difficult at times, but I know. can't make an omelet without <laughs> breaking a few tarts. <laughs> <Tarks. laughs> yep. Uh -oh. So what right. I'm doing here now, and I mm. sure wish you guys at home could smell this because it's, uh, it smells pretty amazing. Uh, I'm crushing up the spices that we toasted earlier. So these are peppercorns, coriander seeds, bay leaves, and cloves. Mm. Um, and I'm just using this mortar and pestle. Uh, if you are using whole spices, don't have a mortar and pestle, you can also just do this in a Cuisinart or a blender. If you have a small, sort of a smaller one of those, that works best. Uh, but you're just kind of grinding everything down into a powder. And there's going to be some inevitable large chunks, but like in a sausage, that's okay. Yeah. That's true. Like in a salami. Uh, yeah, you hit, you hit yeah. some bone, maybe you hit like a finger bone, Usually a little bit of shin bone. Bone. No. But peppercorns. Oh, yeah, sure. okay. Sure, yeah. sure. Or peppercorns. I could see that. I could see that. A little gristle. Never heard little anything. Gristle. Yep. Now, just for the sake of discussion, mm -hmm. uh, could you use human blood? I'm not, I'm okay. asking for a friend. Uh, theoretically, mm. I don't see any reason why human blood would not function pretty much the same in this recipe. Actually, humans and pigs are pretty closely related in, yeah. the, grand, in the grand scheme of things. That's why we call them long pigs. <laughs> that is, yeah. That's why we, that's, uh -huh. that's why we do it, boys. Yep. That's I would I not thought. recommend using human shoulder, though. Oh, no? Pork shoulder is the, is the pork of choice for sausages because of the sort of the, the marbling and the amount of fat that's in it. Human shoulder, eh, they're kind of, they're kind of, they're kind of small. It's good. They're kind of, oh. they're kind of small and tough. Yeah. Um, actually, a lot of human meat is, is, is kind of, kind of tough and stringy. It's tough and stringy. I know, yeah. but I have to say, when it comes to the shoulder, also again, just for the folks at home, if you're going to, you're going to take off a, a human shoulder, just a really good strike right there ought to do the trick. Trace is right. It's a fairly thin thing, so you just want to, yeah, chop, 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 chop. I it do is, that sometimes. You, you get a little carried away, but you know, I, I, we, I, I, all, chop, we all chop, do. Chop, chop. We yeah. all do. We yeah. all do. What a human arm or leg would be great for actually would be like an ossobuco, which is a braised Italian dish that's typically made with veal shank. Mm. So it's the leg, uh, the, the, 
the bone in leg with the meat uh, around it out, outside really? the bone and you braise that, which is just like you slow cook it in, in liquid. And that's what is the best thing to do for meat that is typically really tough or really stringy because it's going to sort of coax all those collagen molecules apart mm -hmm. and the meat will just become really tender, sort of like brisket. It's, just, it's mm. the same idea with brisket. That's nice. So you heard it here first. <laughs> We're going to make some human shanks next. Maybe. No, that's right. no Maybe. that is interesting. That is interesting. Maybe a big deal. Deal seems acceptable mm -hmm. on some level. It's delicious. Maybe not the most fun. Yeah. But yeah. You do what you can. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's, we're it's cooking up cooking the real onions. It's slow, but that's okay. Let's see, look over an old chat. Was it really out here? Let yeah. see. Making dishes from people. Only in the stream. <laughs> that is yeah. right, Spectra. Only in the stream when you're cooking with the Slaughter Tribe. Yep. Ugh, now my eyes are watering because of that onion. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Scamperino, good to see you I as well. Move, can I move your oh, I can move Thanks. a leg. I yeah. can move a leg. I can shake a leg. Shake it. Right? Shake, shake, shake. Shake it. Shake, shake, shake. And I'm going to Well, eyes. I didn't know for sure if we were going to be able to eat the sausage. I did bring some <laughs> of my own snacks. That's, but you know that's wise because the, the yeah. actually once we're done with the with the the prep, the cooking of this stuff, and the, and the grinding and the stuffing, yes. it does also have to poach for about 45 minutes to oh. cook it. So we're not actually going to be able to show that on stream today, which is really, really unfortunate. No. I know, it's too bad. But well, I'll tell you what, I'll do that tonight, and I'll bring it in tomorrow. And you know what? We'll just we'll post that on the uh, the socials. I hear we will. this uh, monolith has uh, the social media. We do. Yeah, our social media manager, Mark, he's, he's, I don't know, he's, he's kind of an asshole. A kind of a kind of. I would say this is probably true. It's very really true. And so, uh, you know, yeah. If, if that happens, it happens. Oh, well, look. It's Matt Rice. It's Matt Rice. An employee who wants to stop by. Matt, I have to ask you. Have you done something different with your scalp? What's your secret? Uh, he's a dick. Ah, oh, this is it's very nice. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's very good. Me, I just use a cleaver or a sharp knife or what have oh, you. Oh, that would work. Yeah, 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 please feel free. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you want to get pro, like this. Yeah, oh, that would, that would work perfectly. So shiny. Wasn't that like a movie? Oh, that was in Predator. Yes, it was <laughs> in Predator. Yeah, he, like, that was a thing razor. that he did, yeah. right? He's like, and then a little bit more straighter of an edge than that. But. And then, oh, and even said one of my favorite lines the big guy said, bleed? I don't have time to bleed. Which was very disappointing <laughs> to me, I'll have you know. Yeah. I think but, he more said, bleed. Yeah, bleed. I don't I got time, time to bleed. And then he spat some tobacco. It's, by the way, you guys can't tell, but it smells really good in here already. Thank you. It's, it's just onion, right? It's, it's onion and, and some apple. There's apple and onion in here together. Oh. And we're, the cooking is going very slow because I'm just not getting a lot of heat out of this. Right. A watched, a watched blood kettle <laughs> never boils. Well, that's also true. Yeah. yeah, it's just always the truth. Okay. So, but we're doing good. Thank you for stopping what? by, Matt. Oh, look, I need a Red Bull. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, well, we also got some blood in there. Yep. That stuff really, oh, really? yeah, that, that perks you up. It perks me up, anyways, to say. So we're letting that simmer, and yep. then we're going to put in, oh, yes. Yeah, so anyway, sweat. we will okay. post our final delicacy, yes. at least on uh, social. You can't really eat that, but at least you can see. And then, of course, we will also be posting the recipe so you can cook Absolutely. again with the Slaughter Tribe endorsed yep. blood sausage. Yep. Here it is. The next step that we're going to do, we're mm -hmm. going to cut up some pork back fat. Oh, right see, here. that's what I said. No. This, is, this is when it gets good. Now, that's from the elf. From the elf. elf? Oh, it's got to be elf fat. It's not. It's pig. Oh. But again, I mean, pigs and elves, pretty Why closely related. Why good pig? Well, I understand. Just, they're delicious. Nah, they're it's delicious. Fair. Here we go. <laughs> Yes, I am, by the way, uh, the amputator, which is a unique role <laughs> in the uh, Dark Lord's it army. Is. It is a very special role. It is. But I do want to tell my boys, Akira Thungle, I'm still just Oogie from the Slada. It hasn't gone to my head. It yes. hasn't gone to my head. It kind of has. A little bit. A little bit. When I got the apron, when I got the extra limbs, when I got the choppers, what can I say? It's a very heady experience, especially when you're taking heads. I can imagine that that, that would be pretty, you know, pretty unique. Anyway, so right mm -hmm. now I am cutting up this pork back fat. I'm going to cut it into teeny tiny little cubes. Um, that is happening. Yep. I feel like almost at some point I can do an extreme close-up. We with should. The camera. We should do that at some point. Yeah. 
Want to do it now? Yeah. Why not? Let's do it. Hey, we're cooking with the slaughter tribe. We're cooking with the slaughter tribe. Oh, I'm gosh. inching off camera. Oh, yes. Actually, yes. Watch it be on frame. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. We promised you flesh. You got flesh. Pork back. Pork back. Pork back. That is awesome. All right. So after we're done, which might very well be my favorite part, which is the slicing and dicing of raw meat. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I hate to tell you this, but mm -hmm. I did pre-slice up the pork shoulder. Oh. Because I thought, it's like, this is a lot of pork shoulder. It's, it's going to take a long time. It's already taken me a long time to cut up this. Not with me. Yeah, but like... I get it. I get it. <laughs> That's fine. I'll just be over here minding my own cleaver. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is a really good one. We cut that up, and then we're going to do our thing. Yeah, just cutting this in the little cubes. Let's see. Old Ugakuga is going to just look back over here. Mm -hmm. uh, Nazu, the amputator of my army. Hey, Spectra, who's this Nazu? Uh -oh, you are really you, are want. You, have you got competition? I think so. Is, someone, is somebody trying to jack your style? I think so. They're trying to jack your special role? It's kind of a unique role, you it know? It is. But I guess... Your experiences may vary. I know we got a lot of, uh, you know, there'll be the douche blood, then there could be, like, you know, around the, well, actually, here's a funny story, around the fire pit one smelly. night. Yeah, right, right, right. We had, uh, we had three horses one time around three the fire pit. Three horses. Yeah, three horses. And the first horse, he says, hey, I'm Horsa, blood. And we were like, ha, 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 that's good, that's a good one. And then the next horse, he goes, oh, yeah, well, I'm Horsa. The blood liquor, and we're like, oh, Ooh, that's, that's even so cooler. Good, right? That's pretty good. And then, and then the third one comes up, and he goes, oh yeah, well I'm Horza, blood guzzler. Oh my god, yeah, that's so much like, blood. We're like, oh darn it, yeah, you just totally, shit. totally took him down. And that's a fact. Uh -huh. I mean, you gotta. There's a lot of iteration on blood. You gotta go the distance. I know. It was, I know that it's a very important part of orc culture and orc uh, culinary oh, tradition. Absolutely. There's a lot of one-ups we ship around the grog barrel. I believe it, yeah. <laughs> we have a good yeah. time. Yeah. We have a good time. You know, one other blood-related thing that we oh, could cook... I'll you over a little bit, by the way. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, we could do... So there, there is a duck blood soup that I believe is like an Eastern European kind of dish. Uh, Ooh, that's something... Like duck? Duck blood soup. Again, you had me a blood. <laughs> I kind of figured, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Just gonna wash that off my hands. We're sort of using a sink in reverse. A little bit. It's that constant innovation here at the studio mm -hmm. we're known for. Some people wash at the front of the sink. We wash behind the sink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thinking outside the box. Yes. Thinking, thinking, thinking outside, outside the kitchen. Thinking outside the kitchen is what we're really doing. Yep. Yeah. I I'm not using my notes at all. So let's see, where are we? We have done all of this. Uh, oh, flashcards, that's a good thing. Yeah, I figured. So, yeah, we've done the back fat, we've done all of the uh, aromatics. So mm -hmm. now it's time to get to mm. the fun stuff. The fun stuff. Splashing blood are everywhere. Almost, 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 almost. We've cooked the onions. Oh, we gotta add the. We're chopping. Nope, nope. No. All right. I think we're not allowed to actually. Dismember? Reference this on Twitch? Are oh, we? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little splash of something. It's Let's, a little something special. Yeah, it's, it's uh, French grog. It's uh, French grog. French grog. French, French, French grog is what we like to call French, it. French grog. It's a Shelob's little helper. She <laughs> <laughs> uh, right? It likes this is long, yeah, this is long, dark nights. This pan is really not that warm because this should be like sizzling. We're it's going to add yeah. the time to this too. And if you're making this at home, uh, save your time stems because you'll be putting these in the poaching bath for when you do cook the uh, when you do oh. cook the sausage. So you're, you're you're not letting anything go to waste, really. Yeah, don't be a time waster. Well, there's, again, <laughs> don't we, waste any time. You're doing it all day. Yes, but that's an important call out, Fred. So don't throw those stems away because mm -hmm. you're going to need them later. Yeah. Everybody says it smells great in here. Which is cool, but again, I just after this, you gotta come to uh, to our throne room and really, really get a whiff of that because it's it smells nice. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, we yeah. throw up some tark skins on the wall. There's a couple of buckets of blood here and there to gussy the place up. 
some accents. Yeah. Red is a big color for us. So yeah, it's great. Yeah. And it smells great as it well. It does smell pretty good. All right, what's next? So next is where it starts to get really cool. I'm going right. to ask you to move a few of your okay. accoutrements to my the other side all of the right. kitchen. All right, all right. I'm just going to take my throwing cleaters. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Now usually I can throw these and they just come right back to me. Oh, that's a handy trick. It is, but uh, I don't want to risk uh, you know, the knives, of course. Yeah. Here, the bandit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Earlier, I really, really put, put somebody's foot in my mouth. Oof. It wasn't my, it wasn't my it foot. It wasn't your foot, so I guess that's not so bad. It's, it's not quite as bad as putting one's own foot in one's mouth. If you just put somebody else's foot in your mouth, it's not it's quite not so as bad. It's not as gaff. It's not it's as, as gaffy. It's a lot easier to do. It's a lot easier to do. Yeah. All right. So, so you're going to be there. We have here. Hmm. I know what I'll do. What will you do? I'm just going to go over here to the armory for a moment. Ooh, okay. That our vast throne room, Tracy. <laughs> yes. Not appearing in this stream. I will put my hands back where they belong. Oh, good. Hey, yeah, keep those hands to yourself. <laughs> I, <know. Well. laughs> I do like to keep them handy. Hey. Oh. Oh, look at this. The whole time, I didn't even realize it. I oh, just the foot has its this. own. Oh, that's cool. Well, See, there you go. Now, now we're cooking with human feet. Yes. All right. Okay. Anyway. Yes. We've kept you, we have kept you waiting yes. for too long. Oh, and this now is we're the best moving part. on to the fun part. This is the second best part. The best part comes in a, in a bit. Uh, we are going to start grinding the meat. Grinding the meat. Grinding the meat. <laughs> so we've, I've started feeding some of these little bits here into my meat grinder. Uh, if you don't have a KitchenAid like this, you can just get a meat grinder that like fixes to your counter and you crank it. Mm -hmm. That will work just fine. But this is a heck of a lot easier. Right. So I'm pushing through and we're gonna see some of that meat coming out. Also Hopefully, though, there we go. That is looking good. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I gotta get another close up. Okay. Now by mind, if you don't have one of these fancy machines, just recruit uh, a flesh ripper or uh, an amputator, yeah. or, you know, there's a lot of works that'll probably, you know, do your bidding once they're in your army. Ready for the extreme close-up, friends? Extreme close-up! Oh, jeez. Oh, dun, 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 pork, pork, smush the pork, pork, dun, 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 how about that extreme angle? Who's getting sick at home? I, wonder, right I hope nobody. Yeah, if you're squeamish, maybe you look away. I mean, they say you don't you don't want to watch how the sausage is made, but it's it's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. Making sausage is actually one of the coolest things that I have done in the kitchen. And that's actually a really good point. People will say when we share things around the studio, like, yeah, you know, really players don't care that much to know how the sausage is made. But at Monolith, we don't believe that's true. No. I want to invite you guys to be a part of our process. Yes, to actually see exactly how the blood sausage is made. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is, I approve. It's, uh, yeah. I approve. Wonderfully fresh. Not like anything you're going to buy at the grocery store. Now, is that a piece of legendary gear that one might find in the right spot? Or, uh, this? Yeah. Yeah. Good. I mean, yeah, See, that's a, it is a that. legendary gear. That's a gear drop. And these runes are also really essential. <laughs> <laughs> good for me. All right, everybody has a good, nice look at the meats. At the meats. At the meats. And now, for a carefully honed <laughs> highbrow screen, we go right back to it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing but the finest. Nothing but the finest bloody entertainment for my productions. Yes, indeed. That does. That that is rewarding. It's pretty. How? It's pretty satisfying. So, sorry. You said if you don't have a machine, if like you don't that, have your legendary gear, right? Uh, you can find. Uh, I, I guess I can't really think of where to look, but. Any like kitchen supply place, maybe even like Fred Meyer would have mm -hmm. it, but they make meat grinders that are sort of just this this part, and they just clamp onto your counter so that they'll still you can still position them to come out over a bowl like this. Um, 
So yeah, that's yeah. good. And you could, of course, I assume, buy this at a store. You could also just buy ground pork. If one wanted to be so inelegant. If you wanted to save, save right. the dishes uh, and save a little bit of time, you could just, you could just buy your own ground pork. That is perfectly acceptable. That is cool. The only meat grinders I have ever come up against really are uh, the Bright Lord's Army. You know, when we're doing some of that, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes we'll do uh, conquest, we do like some salt, we do like some you know, like defense. But either way, there's plenty of death. Lots of meat grinding. And green, yeah, and, and meat grinding. Can't tell. Okay. okay. Anyway, so this is starting to smell and look like it's pretty close to being it's done. Yeah, it smells pretty good. It does smell pretty good. And I have to say, that's the one thing we have not yet, the technology we have not yet mastered <laughs> on stream is smell -a vision Because if you were to be able to smell this right now, it smells good. It's pretty wild. And, and take it for me, I, I smell viscera. Uh, and, and all sorts of bodily awfulness, but this actually uh, doesn't smell like that at all, and I still like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. There's my cue cards over here. So let's see, we've done the meat grinding. Uh, so now we combine all of the meat with our spices that we have ground up. So I'm gonna dump these in here. Uh, just gonna mix that. Here's my real like question. That as of right now, for the folks at home, who's had blood sausage before? Who's that actually, somebody surely must have, because we have people who watch from all around the world. Actually, one of our uh, people from the community the other day, Eric Hollow, which some of you may know, was talking to us about a delicious uh, Puerto Rican, I believe, delicacy. It was a form of tamale, but it had a lot of great stuff in it. In fact, I know Spectra is on stream now. She was talking to him uh, about that a while back. And it sounds quite good if, you know, may, maybe a little bit tough on the midsection, <laughs> but all the best food is. Hot. But maybe it's blood sausage. Blood sausage, maybe not so much. Like, maybe. is this keto? Maybe. Is this... I don't think it's keto. I think there's probably, with the cognac and the apple, there's probably too much sugar mm. for it to be keto, but uh, what do I don't know. So I'm adding some paprika. So this is a, a ground spice again. So you'll remember I didn't toast this one, um, but the, the whole ones that we toasted and, and ground up, I have added. I'm gonna add a little, so I've just got some oatmeal here. This is, oh, this is cooked great. oatmeal. Um, there's always some kind of a starch in, in your blood sausage and this just kind of helps to sop up some of the additional liquid because there's a lot more liquid in this than in a lot of kinds of sausage and you can use rice or you can use farro or you can use cooked oatmeal uh, cooked yeah cooked rice and everything all that stuff has got to be cooked otherwise it'll just be really hard when you try and bite into that sausage once it's all done because it's not going to have had time to cook um let's see there's a like a black rice it's kind of like a purplish colored mm -hmm. rice that has a really more like earthy and robust kind of flavor and I really like that for blood sausage mm -hmm. um, yes. but just oatmeal works fine um, let me check my ingredients <laughs> by the saying. way friends don't worry this is actually blood <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. blood right oh yeah ah, the, salt. the good stuff too yeah. gonna add a little salt um, mm -hmm. that's what I say every time I drink blood huh. time <laughs> to hydrate add a little, little salt, salt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know, a little right Oh, I've got some pork on my hands. Now, uh, for those trying to avoid gluten, which is all of the terror tribe. Oh, I went oh, there! Oh, wow. Uh, but uh, gluten? Mm hmm Yeah, any? I don't um, know anything about gluten, but I hear it's something humans avoid. Some humans do. I personally love gluten. I can't mm. get enough gluten. Mm -hmm. um, but blood, I mean, the, the black pudding, it, depending on what kind of starch you add to it at, at this step that we just demoed, it can be gluten-free. Uh, mm. If you because gluten, I'm pretty sure is just in wheat. Yeah. So oats, like I just used, I think oats are gluten free because like Cheerios are made from oats, and yeah. they have a whole thing about being gluten free. Rice, um, yeah, you have plenty of gluten free starch options that you can still use to make this. So hmm. that really should be uh, should be a concern. That is good. Can I knew uh, over here? and Olag was really into it. I, ergenic the gluten. Ergenic the gluten. Yeah. Oh wait, no, no. Oh, the, the glutton. The glutton. Hey. Uh, is my, yeah, I'm not right. Oh, there you can go. <laughs> but it really.
really should have been ergenic, or actually ergenic. Ergenic. The gluten. The gluten. Would have been a great olug that I would have loved to have made the acquaintance of. That would have, yes. But. That's an olug after my own heart. It's an olug after my own heart. Do you know what comes next uh, in our in our in our beautiful steps here of making sausage? Chopping. Not chopping. Uh, so I guess I was gonna say it's probably your favorite thing. I guess it might be your second favorite thing if chopping. Chopping is, your is first. really my, my favorite thing. But um, it is the blood. The blood. The blood. Well, we gotta give the folks a, a blood cam close up we here. We do. A blood cam close up. Because if there's one thing we can say for a fact, Monolith has never skimped on the blood. Indeed, we have not. We have and never. we are not going to start today, we're my not friends. We're going to start today. We are not. This is wonderful because you, you buy this frozen, or at least at my butcher shop, I buy this frozen. And so the plastic has all like broken off around the rim of this. So it's like just leaking blood everywhere. It's all yes. in this bag. It's already getting starting to get all over my hands. And, but yeah, this is blood. You can see it's kind of separated. So there's sort of like the gelatinous, uh, sort of the gelatinous stuff inside and then and then more more fluid all around and yeah it's everywhere now uh, so that's fun um totally endorse it yeah this is good we're gonna put that in the sink because the sink can be easily rinsed out well speak for yourself i'll just lick the bowl thank you yeah you know you do whatever the health department I says I can't recommend that you eat it raw, but right. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to let, you're an adult, and I'm going to let you make your own choices. Right. I, well, it, kind of the amputator is sort of a unique role. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but uh, I'll never forget when I got the promotion. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I bet. You know, I like, one can uh, only hey. imagine. Like, hey, how's it going, machine? Looks like you lost some limbs. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that did it. On the... Oh, there's more blood? Or no, that's what? the blood. That's the blood. Yeah, this is the, yeah. I don't know if you want to bring the camera close again so they can see what this is like. Oh, wow. You'll definitely yeah. want to bring the camera close when I'm when I'm blitzing it with my immersion blender. Oh, if you're blitzing blood, I am I'm blitzing. all about it. Now, I also I enjoy it when people are spritzing blood. Mm. That's, and, and for what it's worth, also squirting blood. Yes. But, uh, squirting, just, spurting, <laughs> shooting, <laughs> spattering. <laughs> squirting, spattering. Yeah. So this is, this is it. This all is what right. blood looks like. This is Fresh. I mean, it has been frozen. I guess it's not really fresh, but this is the blood. Yeah, okay. there we go. We got you can see it's kind of got these big gelatinous bits in it, and then all right, let's go in liquid for extreme and close yeah. Up. yeah. People always ask us also if we're ever going to do anything uh, with blood again. Uh, apparently, that was a well. Uh, here we are. A monolith game, and we can see. Are you kidding? Here it is. Here is our blood mm -hmm. remastered. Yeah. We hope you enjoy <laughs> our direction. This is high definition, <laughs> high definition blood. Right. That's right. Any blood fans out there? <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna carefully try not to get it everywhere, all over this beautiful kitchen. Uh, spoon some into my container over here. Yeah, that was the only thing I was a little surprised when mm -hmm. we were talking about doing this, cooking with the Slaughter Tribe. How many people were saying, well, whatever you do, don't get blood everywhere. And I was thinking, like, that's it's kind of our like, idiom, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of is. You know, when you're, there's only so much that you can do about that kind of thing. Right. I mean, take take it from me, blood kind of gets everywhere. It does. Especially when you're chopping. Yeah. Chop, chop, chop. Yep. The blood spatter. This blood spatter. And also, frankly, uh, you know, if, if you if you do uh, delimb someone or something, okay. <laughs> Uh, I say just let it go. It makes a great decoration. Just throw some blood around well, you, the room. You don't want to waste it, though. Blood is actually really nutritious. Yes. It's incredibly high in protein and calories, which mm -hmm. is why, like, so many cultures, uh, cultures that also have, like, major, you know, that are, that are sort of rooted in farming, because mm -hmm. that's a really high-intensity form of labor, mm -hmm. uh, have cuisine that has blood in it, because it's an extremely efficient source of, of protein and nutrients. Um, here, here. It's time to blitz. I'm gonna it's plug in time my, to blitz you can, the blood. Yeah, you can do this in, a, in just a regular blender uh, if you want to, but I have an immersion blender that we're going to use. Fortunately, we both for have this. our aprons on. We do have our aprons on. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. It's delicious. It also, I think, visually, it's a great decorator. Mm -hmm. it gives the eye a place to start and stop yes, around the room. Mm. 
Now, how long does one blitz the blood for? Oh, uh, not. It doesn't need to be too long at all. You just you just kind of want to get it a little bit frothy and just making sure that it's smooth because, like you saw, it kind of has those gelatinous gelatinous bits, and so you just want to make sure that you've got it so that it's all a smooth and even liquid. That's this is easily my favorite part of this cream. I'm glad. I'm really glad that you like it. Frothing blood, mm -hmm. blitzing blood. There we go. Who's hungry? I know I am. I'm starving, my man. I am starving. <laughs> Just gonna okay. pop. Oh, wait, what do you want? This? So, I'm gonna pop that oh, in the sink. There we go. It would not do. It would not. It's funny, you know, it would not do to spill the blood, which no. is, again, an ironic thing for me to say, but there are times and places where you just don't want to spill the blood. Right, sometimes it's appropriate to spill blood, right. like when you're killing something. Right. Sometimes it's not appropriate to spill blood, like when you're cooking with it. Right. Minor disagreements, great time to spill blood, but Here confronted with go. the bread lord now right outside. To our sausage mix, just like this. I, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this at the next uh, for the next tribal showdown yeah i think that would be great i, I think, think people would. will be really impressed mm -hmm. too. it's like oh ashgarn's trying to do a grog hunt right and we're like up on the cliffs hey everybody huh i'm gonna break out some blood sausage <laughs> i mean while we're waiting to you know brutally ambush them yeah, yeah. well like i said perfect high energy high calorie high protein food that is something the Slaughter Tribe has always been about. Yes, indeed. Right? Should have taken off my bracelet. Uh-oh. Because I'm going to get pork all in it, but it's fine. I feel like at this point you have such a, you have such a need for lateral movement that I should just stand behind you striking up. How do you do that? I mean, it's entirely up to you. With our, uh, with our crossed cleavers. I keep forgetting that I have my uh, little what? handy towel in my apron. Why is this up your <gasps> director? Hey, Phil. Oh. <laughs> Sure you can. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. <laughs> That's right. That was, a, that was a Phil Straub side of yep. everybody. Who, uh, among, among other things, like if, if Tracy is a big part of like the sound in the uh, the lines, I would say uh, the way that I look and uh, feel and well, move, really pretty much mm -hmm. almost everything. Phil is the so guy that... It's a lot uh, of Straub. Yeah. yeah. He leads that team. Yeah, he does. So I'm And he made me look good. He did. He honestly did. So we've added the blood this is just this is all of the contents of our of our sausage and mm. i'm just mixing it all together mm. uh, i'm still a little disappointed you had to ruin that delicious blood with all that stuff but listen, i get i get what you're shooting for it's gonna be amazing right all right i believe you amazing and after it's done if we have any left over maybe we could dip a dip a toe in so to dip, speak. dip i mean there's quite a bit Left. I, I so, I mean, you, you know, you go, go, go oh, ham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a snack tray, perhaps. Say, hey, everybody, I brought fingers. Hey. It's all nice and mixed together. That is great. So, is there at any point an intestine housing for this blood sausage? Yes, there, there is. is. And we're actually just about to get to that point. In a, in a perfect world, in a yeah. perfect world, I would put this in the fridge and I would let it chill for uh, about a minimum of an hour. You could even let it chill overnight and sort of let all those flavors really combine and kind of let it all gel really well. But do we live in a perfect world, Uga Kuga? I don't think so. We do no. not live in a perfect world. So we're just going to stuff this sausage. Yeah. And for that, we have our hog intestinal casing. Our hog intestinal casing. This stuff mm -hmm. comes in a little dried, it comes dried in a package and it becomes salt packed. It also and comes so, in a body cavity if you don't have time that's uh, to true. go shopping. <laughs> you can just like cut open anybody and get some of that intestine. That's true, most people have intestines. Right? Uh, like I said, who's got time sometimes to run to the store you just look across the way, you got some guy around the mm -hmm. fire pit. Yep. Next thing you know, you got some uh, intestine. Easy, cost effective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is our hog intestine. Oh, that's so good. It's pretty awful. This is the only part of the process that I don't like. Oh, is that right? <laughs> it's true. Is it because, because why? Because it's gross and it smells bad. Oh, gosh, it really- <laughs> It smells terrible. It sounds like a siren song to me, Tracy. <laughs> You weren't here when I was 
rinsing it out of all the salt and the, oh my god, it's awful. It's but awful. you know what? You, I there's just no accounting for taste. No. Um, well, yeah. So, that's true. Yeah. That's why sometimes before I uh, I feed, I just encourage uh, people to just remove their cups, or I'll remove yeah. them for them before they eat. They don't even have to account for taste. Yeah. I don't know if an amputator amputates limbs. Can an amputator amputate a tongue? Is that still amputation? I don't see why else? not. Yeah, the detungulator just doesn't kind of, doesn't roll off the top. Uh, not really. No. So we're rinsing out the interior of this because, like I said, it has been salt packed. Yes. So we're just making sure that there's no extra salt that's been that's been sitting in, in this, cream. and it's gonna gonna mess up the flavor of our sausage. I always found that the most interesting uh, aromas and flavors mm -hmm. come out of intestines. Uh, but, I, but I've never thought about definitely, putting something into. Definitely some interesting uh, scents do come out of intestines. Right? It's, it's like um, a, a slaughter grab bag. It is. You know, a snack box, if you will. <laughs> yeah, it's just like... <laughs> Take it with you. Sort of like a little Ziploc bag. <laughs> you just baggie. take it out and put it in your in your in your like lunch bag. And yes. There you go. What are you eating? I don't know. Let's see what this guy was eating. <laughs> right. So that is okay. all cleaned out. Uh, this is good. Uh, there don't appear to be any leaks in this. Uh, yeah, that would be that would be concern. medically yeah. challenging as well. Oh, that's leaky true. Intestine. That's true. Just right. I'm gonna check. Bit. I would have seen. Mm -hmm. Anybody actually? Oh, bless you, Spectra, for holding forth. Oh, oh, Cutsman says, I don't know, Cutsman, if you're still here, but you eat those a lot, blood sausage a lot in Finland. I oh, assume. Oh, cool! That's no, awesome. That that is really cool. Yeah. It feels like there's a lot of places around the world where like different dishes are in order and blood sausage. I remember actually the first time. True story. Unlike all the other stories, which were also <laughs> very true. But uh, first time I ever tried blood sausage was actually uh, for the Shadow of War, uh, the leading up to the launch when I was in England. Oh, yeah, the first time. yeah, you did all that, all the press touring and stuff. Yeah. Yes, I didn't know what I was eating at the time, oh. and a love affair was born. Oh, nice. Afterwards, yes, and I never looked back. Let me know if I can lend you a hand. I think we're okay. Uh, I just gotta swap some uh, swap some parts on here. Mm, I can do that too. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, as as gotta, can my buddy the Stitch. Yeah. If, if, you know, oh yeah. He's push a, comes to shove. He's a pal, huh? Oh, of course he is. Are you kidding me? He's also a great career project. Like, for somebody like the amputator, you really would have a friend like Stitch, because just just I would say friend slash hobby mm. is a good way to, to refer to him. Yeah. yeah. Or, or actually, it was like, for those out there who like to kit bash, again, it's very similar. It's like, I think maybe that arm would look good over here. Indeed. Maybe that foot would look good over there. Okay. Okay, so, uh... The meat I grinder. I from this side. Meat grinder. I just... Yes. The best. Yes. Or what I like to call a pit fight. A pit fight. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to put our sausage casing onto the end of our now sausage. Now this is going to require an extreme cam. Yes, yeah. So, yeah Cuz this do is it. The, this truly is the marquee moment. It is. All it right, is. everybody, put on your 3D goggles <laughs> if you've got them. All right. Here we are. Let me just get us all situated for the ultimate Sausage. Oh my yep. gosh. Just gonna, just feeding four feet of intestines of course. On, on this on this little tube here. Almost it's probably the also the most it. delicate part of the entire operation. It, I mean, it's it's pretty tough, but yeah, I am I am always nervous about getting it caught on something and tearing it, because then I'd have to go, I mean, you have to soak this for like half an hour before you start um, before you start, so five, five, is this, this is like a speed run, like oh, tore, tore, tore the casing, runs over. Uh, uh, is see. here we go. So it's all, on, it's all in there. And then, um, and then, do you have to tie up the end? I or? will tie up the end, but I will start that just in a second. Oh my gosh! Because uh, you wanna, we're gonna get um, tip that out. We're gonna start feeding 
This is what the people the, paid the money for. Yeah. <laughs> gonna start stepping all this in. We're gonna, once I sort of get that packed with enough stuff. And, and is there, can you put too much blood paste into a blood sausage? Um, it, it's pretty, it's pretty well self-controlled, like you definitely could. But um, you'll you'll kind of feel it. So uh, I'm gonna start cranking this. I'm gonna start pretty slow because I'm waiting for it to kind of come out of the end. Um, Extreme blood sausage close up. Mm -hmm. It is true to a watch sausage never fills. That's not true. <laughs> That's not that is not true. A little, little, little stuck, mm -hmm. so we're working on it. There. Shim sham -la bam And so, and so, is the bowl underneath it just in case some comes pouring out? Well, it's gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna hold some of the, because there's gonna, I mean, we're gonna end up with sausages and they need to go somewhere. Right. <laughs> and it also, it does, it does drip a little bit. Like this is dripping water from being rinsed. That is the issue that here. That is there we wonderful. Go. How'd it go? Well, so Still far there. it's going well. This is extreme blood sausage close-up. It's nothing but the finest here. Ooh. That, that is Brian Pavatois, by the way, our badass director of audio, who also did a tremendous amount of help setting us up. He did. Sound. And now, well, here we go. You're here for the lucky part. Yeah. You need sound effects for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be post. We do, we do all the great stuff in post. You know, Ethan had a bunch of like great lines and, and stuff, music for Slaughter. Oh yeah, this is it. We're making blood sausage. Yeah. This is the real deal. No, oh, it's look. not. Is it coming out yet? Or not no? yet? Not yet. Ugh. But I, the anticipation is is killing me. It's killing me too. And I'm, I'm used afraid to being the stuck. one being killed. No blood sausage. Well, there we go. It has another gear. Yeah, it's got it's got like ten. <laughs> well, what gear are we on now? Two. Damn it, Tracy! Hey, the higher gears are for like making meringues. <laughs> so <laughs> calm down. A blood meringue? That's a thing. Is that really? A thing? It's a thing. That's yeah, a thing. because the proteins in blood are really similar in structure to the proteins in egg whites, and so blood meringues are actually a thing in several cultures. Who wants us to make blood meringue after this? I'll do it. I'll, I would I would do it with you. Cook it with the slaughter tribe. Problem here. Blood meringue. I'm gonna shut this down. Alright, I'm going like, back. Yeah, I feel like maybe I'm not angle. attached correctly here. Um, you know, the thing is yeah, I'm not I'm not attached correctly. I at say all. this about meat grinders, I say this about people's limbs. Don't get too attached. <laughs> well, in this case, we weren't attached enough, I hate because, to say. Yeah, that's right. They come and go so easily, my friends. So easily. Take it from me, the <laughs> amputator. We were working on it. It was trying, but I we, think now we're all we're clogged up in a way that is uh, is uh, deleterious from actually to the sausage making, making it experience. work. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh, that really is just scrumptious looking. Isn't it? It's great. For those at home, if you can't see perfectly well, it's just a great <laughs> mushy congealed. Yep. Blood. And then yep. yes, vegetables, blah blah blah. But the blood though. Oh the blood. Worst case scenario. You can always just like I said, pour some blood into that skin, call it a day. It's like a Buddha. Or a Buddha yeah. kind of deal. Or blood Buddha. I think. Blood Buddha. I think, I think we got it this time. This is the one. You were saying yeah. earlier that making blood sausage is not unlike game development. Yeah, no, it's pretty similar. Right? And just similarly, you know, you think you got everything set up, it's ready to go, you got your pipeline. <laughs> I'm really going to stretch for this analogy. You got your pipeline all set up, you think it's great, yeah. and then you turn it on, and there's no... And nothing comes out! Nothing comes out! You're like, okay, all right. Is this it? Might be it. Oh, yeah, Might be it. Blood cam. Dun, dun, dun. Extre extreme blood cam, dude. There we 
we go. There it is. I think I can feel it. I'll give the people a show. There it is. There it is. Oh, I gotta stop it. Stop it. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay. Uh. So now yes. is when we pull this off and we tie a big knot at the end. Oh, that's interesting. And then you fill the rest of the and then uh, we fill the rest of it. casing up. Yep. So I'm just gonna tie a nice square knot there at the end mm -hmm. and viola. We let it go. more exciting blood sausage. So how, how long Oop. does one make a blood sausage? You like, depends I mean, on how much. Like, is it like, <laughs> all right, I'm going back. Is it like, I guess it depends on how many people you're serving, right? It kind of does. And I mean, I, it depends on how much stuff you have to make it with too. Like mm -hmm. the recipe that I have, which uses about a kilogram of pork and about 500 grams of, of, of blood, um, makes about eight feet I think of sausage is qu it's quite a bit actually. Yeah. To be honest, I was not expecting eight feet. I know you. That's like that's Olag high. It I is. Was, oh, that's it's huge. That's Olag high. Yeah. <laughs> it's good tall. I'm gonna file that one for later <laughs> for around the fire pit today. Like, hey, it was like it was like Olag high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have fun. We have fun around the around the fire pit. This is about a half recipe, so I'm... Whoa! Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! Sausage <laughs> overboard! Kuga, help me! Sausage overboard! This is why we put plastic down, Tracy. This is why we put Holy, plastic on the wrong side. Clean up. Clean up an aisle monolith. <laughs> Just going to give that a quick rinse. It's, it's not really a cooking show until a bloody sausage goes scooping across the floor, in my experience. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. This is good. Oh, here comes Nathan Grigg, everybody! Ladies Nathan Grigg! Nathan yeah. Grigg's hiding! Nathan Grigg composed all our music. He's the coolest! He's the coolest! He did! And that's what I'm saying. He sent me some of the best sound for the next Cooking with the Slaughter Tribe stream. We are going to use it. Really? This, oh, yeah. Lines, oh guess for chorus. Yes. As he, as he actually said, it's like, hey, here's the soundtrack for your stream. And we're like, oh! too late to really factor it for this one. Although yeah. maybe for the buy, I can get a little, uh, yeah. get a little something going on there. Because of course, if, I'm gonna say if you missed the stream, <laughs> do the stream. If you missed this stream, or if a friend missed the stream, and over conversation said, man, I really wish I knew how to make blood sausage. Point them to old Tracy and this VOD, mm -hmm. and it was gonna be on Modelist's YouTube channel. After the fact. So that, that's a good, you know, like, like an eight inch We're, we're working on it. Number. And I so, and then uh, you just. Now that I've got it going, I'm gonna crank it up a little bit faster. That is incredible. A, a coiled sausage. Has to be refrigerated though, you were saying. Yeah, I mean, I would cook it pretty much right away, like definitely cook it same day. Oh, wait, that's not ready to eat? No, you oh, do have to cook it. Mm, speak you, for yourself, uh, I think. But. I mean, uh, once again, FDA says I cannot tell you not to cook this. I have to tell you to cook it. Uh, and you do that in a poaching bath. Right. So it's a little too long for us to show you on this stream because we'd just be standing here trying to riff for 45 minutes right. and you guys would get sick of it. Oh, yes, yes, sick of, the, sick of the rivet. I was just thinking, oh, FDA, all right. See, we don't have that in Mordor. That's why we good eaten. Yeah. You know, there are some cheeses that it's illegal to eat in the United States, or illegal to buy, illegal to sell, I guess, are you kidding? in the United States. Yeah, because they're like, there's too much bacterial activity or, or, or something too in much, them. Too much bacterial activity. Is, is what kind of cheese? Maggot cheese. Maggot cheese? Maggot cheese? There's a cheese in, in Italy that's actually illegal in Italy, but they still make it. <laughs> of course they do. Where they cut off the top of the cheese, and then flies come and lay eggs in it, and then the maggots grow and they get the cheese and they go down oh, maggot cheese. and the people eat the uh the, the, the cheese that's left oh. we, we have we have a, a friend from the studio off stream that just told us about maggot cheese which again i think sounds delicious but it's basically a cheese that is formed from maggots eating part of it and what's left then becomes the edible part 
I don't know why that would be illegal. <laughs> I just think that's like food sharing. Yeah, it's they, they, they scoop it. They scoop the bread up and you see stuff moving. Like you're not supposed yeah. to eat the maggots. You're supposed to eat them after they've gone through the cheese. Right. Uh, huh. it's, it's, it's interesting hearing all of this good tart lore about the things you will and won't eat. For me, sharing a meal with maggots, that's, that's sounds, just a Saturday night. It just sounds really friendly. Yeah. It just sounds really friendly. Like that's kind of like, sure, there's enough for me, there's enough for you, maggots. Yeah, that's it's, called, it's called Cassu Marzu. Cassu Marzu. Marzu. Okay. It's actually Sardinian. A Sardinian. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up when I get back to uh, Kirith. I'm gonna have to ask Hanging my Italian teacher about it. Yeah, actually, that would be really interesting. <laughs> so think like illegal cheese. That's cool. It's a queso man. It's queso, queso, queso man. Ah, and so you did. You actually cinched it off. I yep. have seen sausages hanging mm -hmm. in cheery little, uh, yep. well, actually hanging off of hooks and cheery little throne rooms and what have you. And I never realized that you actually just yep, did yep. That. You just you just twist it or knot it. Yep. Hmm, that's really cool. If anybody out there actually makes a blood sausage, you absolutely have to share it with us. Oh my God! Please tell us. Please. Please send us pictures. Please send video. us pictures. Like I want to know. We want to know that we changed one person's life for the better, introducing them to the joys of blood and sausage, intestine, casing, mm -hmm. all that's good. At Monolith Dev is our Twitter, <laughs> mm -hmm. and of course Monolith Productions is our Facebook. Yeah. Or Discord, or which Discord. is. Just down below. Down below. I actually also have a pouch with fingers in it. But I just didn't yeah. know if I could, uh, oh. you know. And also, I'm kind of saving them. Yeah, the a snack later. later. Yeah. I understand that. So, is there any other kinds of things that can go into a blood sausage, ingredient-wise, aside from the, uh, the blood? Ooh. Ingredient wise, um, I mean, this is pretty traditional as far as I know. Um, there are different kinds of blood sausage from different regions of the world. Like, I know that Italy has one kind, I can't remember exactly what it's made of. Um, but it's all pretty much the same idea. You mix um, meat and blood, and then whatever other flavorings that you have. Uh, like, you could add wine. Oh. Um, you could add different, I mentioned different kinds of starches. You could add different kinds of vegetables and fruits as aromatics. You could, I don't know. I could see this being like an old world staple. Yeah, right? exactly. Where it's yeah. like, whatever you got, throw it into the, uh, the intestine carcass. Right, when you don't have the, the luxury of going to the supermarket when you're hungry, right. you, you kind of want to make sure that you're using everything, <laughs> every source of, right. of nutrients that's available animal. to you. That's yeah. the truth. And also, I'm realizing now how much an intestinal casing is like nature's first Ziploc baggie. It is. Totally is. Like, can I get an intestine baggie to go? It's like, are you going to eat all that? <laughs> no, I just, can I just get an intestine to put it in? I'm just going to, for later. Or, or, or I guess also, I guess stomach bladders work as well. Yeah, stomachs, if, if, bladders. Uh, yeah. For that matter, skulls, if you'd like, you know. Skulls. Yeah, those work as well. Uh huh. Yeah, there's some some places around the world use the top of the skull as like a shallow drinking vessel, like a really shallow <laughs> bowl. That's right, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, in like in 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 some areas of like Middle Asia, you can find skulls that have just been beautifully decorated with all these metallic and uh, ornamentations and gems and. And all kinds of things, and they're so beautiful, and they're really prized. That's cool, and I, and I would assume that is true. You it's, always have that, and it's like that's, you know, somebody I'm drinking out of. <laughs> right? Is that yep. an interesting, yeah. true, true fact of life? Yeah, my um, my uh, thesis advisor in college had had one. She had a drinking skull that I think she said was from Tibet, and uh, she traded her car for it. Right. I was just saying, <laughs> I would believe that though you talk about illegal things around the world. Drinking out of a human skull would be somewhere up there. Yeah, I, mean, I don't I mean, think it's even illegal. I think it's like it's, if it's a for, super it was old a, skull. It was an established like that's an established thing in that particular culture. Like when you you right. know when you when you die, you can 
you can like will bequeath your you, know, you uh, can say like yeah turn my skull into into this thing into some fine china yep uh, it's getting a little, a little clumpy in here but uh, just about i think for sure this needs to be a callback the next time we stream anything people have to eat hey maybe game day <gasps> Oh no! We're doing. Uh oh, we've got a. Oh no! What happens over? <laughs> the, what happens? <laughs> I tore the. I tore the casing. Oh but no! That's okay. Okay. Because I think I can just kind of. Uh, this is this is important off. though too to let the viewers know what happens. Yeah. Then. If you if you tear the casing, all you have to do is is just kind of pull it off by a few inches and kind of squeeze that back, and then you can cut it off here with a with a knife and just uh -huh. tie it off. So if you want now, to hand me my chef's knife, right, you please. A real knife? Yes. Because like, my, all mine is all gore encrusted. Yep. I'm just gonna it would probably like not. That's, that's, probably, that's a nice knife. It's a very good knife. It's Have actually you? from Ikea. Oh, well, is it really? They don't make that line anymore, but it's one of my favorite knives I've ever had. Is, now, this is a little embarrassing, but so is this. I got the same thing. Look, <laughs> really? I say, no kidding. Yeah, well, how do you think I, I can no afford clue. to just keep throwing them? That's away, totally right? true. Oh, no, no, I lost yeah. a cleaver. That's anyway, cool. Anyway, I mean, I think we can wrap up yes. here because, hey, like, this is some blood sausage that we just made. Blood sausage! This is, yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can take a close view to yes. take a really good look at would it you, if you would want. Would you like to give the people... Uh, give the people what they want? Yeah, give the, give the people what they came here for. The blood sausage. <sighs> is it? Is it? Yeah, I think they should give it a shot. I'm going to look and see if anybody has any questions. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, all right. It is. It's the blood sausage. <laughs> so, oh, hey. Phantom Gerudo's in the audience. Pretty's <gasps> here. Oh, 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 Matt's here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Love it. Random Nom Nom. That's mm -hmm. a great name for it, a cooking it's a stream. It's a really fitting name. There you go. Glad you're here. So now that yeah. is. It's real blood sausage. That's real blood sausage. Mm -hmm. Tracy, I want to say you are an honorary member of the Slaughter Tribe. Thank you. Yes. It's all this is a great wanted. day. It's a great day. Oh, I feel so special. <laughs> do I get do I get like a role? Do I get a, do I get a special name? Well, I got this foot for now or oh, I, I mean, a little bit of skin. I don't know. I got I got an extra roll of skin back at the I'm, We'll figure something. Out. I mean like 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 you're the amputator. Yeah, yeah, do that's kind of my thing. Do I get to be like the sausage stuffer, or uh, yeah, sounds a little. That seems a little maybe not. Right. Right. Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> We're gonna not. shop some names around. <laughs> we will. We'll we'll the other figure it out. Also, I just would say, like, if you guys have enjoyed this, and we're going to be doing a little bit more to show off our blood sausage later, once it's fixed and all that stuff, yeah. we're open to other ideas, because I think cooking with the Slaughter Tribe is something that we could uh, do every once in a while. I really had a good time. In our, in I our, hope you guys did. Yes, I hope so as well. I hope that also our fair compatriots have been very great sports about letting us tie up <laughs> the kitchen yeah. for a while. We're depriving everyone of coffee. And what have we been going for, like an hour, an hour and a half? Yes, yeah, straight. Nobody's had their coffee in like an hour and a half. Right. It's 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 incredible. It's risky. It's yes, right. She's like this is like the craziest of the blood streams. What's this? The good oh the gut stuffer. The gut stuffer? That's spectra. Yeah. The gut That's stuffer. That's good. I like that a lot stuffer. too. Yeah, all right. The gut stuffer it is. Tracy, <laughs> gut stuffer. Tracy the gut stuffer. <laughs> all right. Give them a couple of blood sausage to make up for it. Random nom nom that is awesome. All right. Yeah. So thank you everybody. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut it, cut it off for cut the day, off. which is my favorite thing. We're gonna chop the stream, but uh, yeah, we'll see you around. And um, thank you, Tracy, yeah. very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. See you soon. See you soon.